Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. In my last video, I recycled my clay for the first time, and in doing that process, I used this plaster slab. In this video, I'm going to compare the different surfaces that are available for you to recycle your clay on. I'm going to compare the plaster slab, a piece of hardy backer, a piece of just cement, and also a piece of wood. And I'm going to come back every day and see which one absorbs the water out of the slip clay the fastest, so let's get to it. So I've got this paint attachment that I'm going to put on my drill. I'm going to turn it all the way up and I'm going to mix up the clay in my slip bucket. So now that I have that mixed up, I'm just going to apply a layer of the slip clay, recycled splooshy moosh, to each of these surfaces. So the first surface we have here is the plaster slab. We did this one before, my last video, and it took about four days to get the clay to a point where it was workable again. Again, I'm in Texas, so it's hot, it's summer, and this process probably goes a lot faster in the heat. Maybe when it's super cold, I'll make another video to compare what temperature differences do to this process. Mm-hmm. It's just like pudding. This next piece is the hardy backer board. I made a video cutting these down as well. So if you want to cut down some hardy backer boards or learn more about this particular material, there's a video for that as well. I actually made a larger piece of hardy backer for this, but it they wouldn't all fit onto my work table, so we're using one of the smaller pieces. It made a lot from just that one board, so we have plenty to spare. Make sure these are all even with each other so they have a good, you know, you have a good even comparison. This is just a block of cement that I got from the hardware store. It's, there's probably better types of concrete to use for this process. I'm not even sure if this is really going to work, but we're going to try it out. We threw it in there. For science. I've heard of people having success just using their floors in like their garage and that's probably a lot smoother of a surface than what I'm working with here. Worst case worst, we ruin this puddle of clay. This is just a piece of wood. Standard wood is pretty thin. Honestly, a thicker piece of wood would probably be better for this task but I'm just using what we have on hand. So, lay it on there. So all of them are all laid out and ready to dry. So now all we have to do is hurry up and wait. And we will check on this tomorrow. We are out here to check the clay today. It's been 24 hours, so plaster slab pretty squishy still. I can't, I don't think I can flip that. The hardy backer board, this thing is almost dry. This thing is, might be too dry actually. It might be a solid. I might have to restart. This hardy backer board dries this clay out so efficiently, too efficiently. I really wasn't, I really wasn't expecting that. Yeah, this is, this is like leather hard. After like, 24 hours. Like, yeah. That's gonna have to go back in the in the bucket. Okay, hardy backer, seriously fast at sucking the liquid and life out of clay. Faster than plaster. So the concrete slab. Uh, let's see. It's pretty hard on the side. We're kind of wet in the middle. So it doesn't seem like it's drying it very evenly. Like it's totally liquid in the middle still. And kind of hard on the sides. So I don't love that. Yeah, it's getting like chunks in it in certain areas. So that doesn't seem ideal to me to have such inconsistency in the drying. Like see, like, some of this is totally still slippy. And then some of it is like just chunks, chunks. 
chunk stuck. So don't love that. Party back and dry the whole thing out. It's crazy. Alright, so the wood seems to be a lot like the concrete, really. Like I can go off of here and so I can use it. Seems kind of hard on the sides and totally still wet in the middle. So it's not drying super even on the wood either. So after 24 hours, yeah, the plaster's not done, but it's even on the outside and on the inside. It's drying at an even consistency. Maybe the hardy backer dried evenly because it's pretty evenly dry as everything. So I'm going to put this back into my recycle bucket because it's too dry to work with. And so the hardy backer has been eliminated. Actually before I put this back in there, I'm going to go ahead and reset the hardy backer and check it maybe earlier in the morning tomorrow and see maybe if we can figure out how fast it dries because there might be potential here bucket down here I'm gonna okay it's day three but it's a little earlier in the day because I wanted to check on this hardy backer to see where it was because when I gave it a full day last time it turned it all into a solid brick so today the plaster slab is looking good if I get my tool I might be able to clip this one the concrete has gone too far. This is really hard all over now, so that's not going to work. The wood is still pretty soft and it's molding. There's mold around the side, so that's less than ideal. And the hardy backer, after about 12 hours, is still really squishy in the center and kind of tough around the edges. So, that's not perfect, but I'm going to get my tool, see if we can flip the plaster over today. Pretty squishy. But I think it's gonna go. There we go. A note on the plaster, as it's clearly coming out as a clear winner here for multiple reasons, that's why it's recommended, is that it even it's even all the way through like with all of these other surfaces it's getting more dry on the outside than it is on the inside by a significant amount so with the plaster this is all the same consistency and that is really great I'd say this is still a little bit wetter than I would really prefer kind of like last time so I'm just gonna spread this out and give it a little bit more time. But the, the plaster seems to be a clear winner here already. We'll try and get this concrete off of it, but I have not high hopes for it. It's very stiff. Yeah. The last time I checked the concrete yesterday, it was wet in the middle still, and then that stiff on the edges, and now the whole thing is stiff. And there might be better kinds of concrete. It's not gonna lie. Just leaving pieces of concrete, little bits, in this clay. So I might actually just throw all of this clay away, because I don't really want those bits in my work when I'm trying to throw later. Got so. Concrete, or at least this particular variation, is getting a no from me. Especially with how easy it is to make a plaster slab. And you can find a link below to making a plaster slab. I made a video on that, and it's not difficult at all. 
This isn't, I'm not even gonna re-recycle this because it's got bits of this concrete in it and I don't want that in my work. All right, so I'm back with fresh hands and a fresh tool because I didn't want any of this into any of the other stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this thing here. This is not, this ain't it. Well, that leaves this wood. Now the wood, after two days, is already growing mold, which is not ideal. <laughs> Nobody really wants to grow mold if we can avoid it. The hardy bagger is a mold resistant surface. So let's see if we can get the wood to flip. Oh yeah. It's really, really stiff on the edges here. And then squishy kind of now that we're in the center here. So it's not drying it super even. Now, the mold's not gonna ruin the clay because it's going to die and be burned in the fire of the kiln but you really don't want to make a bunch of mold in your workspace. So that's the main issue with the mold, is that you just really don't want it in your workspace. Because depending on what kind of mold it is, you don't want to be breathing it in. So, it's not ideal. It's not ruining the clay, but it's just not an ideal situation. Parts of this are very chunky and parts of this are really at a good, at a good place. Wooden board is not my favorite wedging surface. <laughs> I might move this guy over. Scourge me a second. Stay there, thanks. I prefer to wedge on this plaster for lots of reasons, but the main reason is just because it's better. So lots of inconsistencies, lots of chunks. I'm gonna have to wedge the holy tarnation out of this to get it consistent and even. It's not impossible, but it creates a lot of extra work. So I'm gonna give the wood like a C minus. Like yes, the job got done and this is a passing grade, but it made mold. It made a lot of extra work for you as far as wedging it because it dries so unevenly. And yeah, I just wouldn't recommend this surface, especially with how evenly and nicely the plaster does. So we're still watching the hardy backer. Obviously the concrete, I give it a total fail, but to be fair to the concrete, there might be better concrete options. Mine was a pretty coarse concrete, so if you want to try better concrete options, you know, go give it a shot. But as far as what I used, definitely a failed attempt. It got grit and concrete bits in my clay. I had to throw away what I was trying to dry on it. So definitely a fail for the concrete. A C minus for the wood and the plaster. It still needs a little bit more time to get, yeah, to where I really want it because it's still a little too soft for me to work with. Spread that back out. Even. All right, and then the hardy backer for today is still slush. So, all right, we'll check it again tomorrow morning probably because I don't know what the deal is with the hardy backer and how fast it's going to dry this clay. So, we'll check it tomorrow and we'll see where we go from there. It's still the same day. I actually did some throwing practice and then I was looking at these guys. And this one is looking pretty much like ready. Definitely ready. So this is still like, what, day three we said? Just like, like four hours later, it's kind of, ooh, tough. It's toughed up a lot in the past four hours, but it was, it was 96 degrees outside. So, there's that. And then the hardy backer, it's really dry on the outside, like crunch it on all the outside and wet in the middle. So that really is making this plaster supreme. You know, look at her mixing and then here we've got liquid.
under the how-to playlist, you want a plaster slab. It is the best. The best surface for reclaiming your clay, the best surface for wedging your clay. We tried all the other surfaces and none of them was as consistent as the plaster slab at removing moisture evenly. So definitely get your plaster slab made. Thanks for joining me this week, guys, as we went through and tested all the different surfaces there are for you to reclaim and recycle your clay on. The plaster slab reigns supreme this week. Um, there might be better concrete surfaces out there. The concrete I picked was a pretty rough piece of garden brick. Uh, the wood, it grew mold and it was uneven in the drying, and the hardy factor is also was uneven in the drying. Those two surfaces both got harder on the edges than they did in the center a lot faster. The plaster dries evenly throughout the whole thing and it's the best surface for wedging on. So if you haven't made one of these, go make you one. There's a link to a how-to video below or you can find it in the how-to playlist on my channel. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see weekly art videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week at 5.30.